Now we're indoors, we can have a look at the DJI GO 4 app in more detail. You will see at the top left, the ready to go is not green. That's because we're indoors and we're only showing nine satellites. You sh as I said out when you're outside, you should never take off unless that is green. But let's go through the app in more detail. When we were outside, we clicked on ready to go and you can see the aircraft status comes up. You can customize certain buttons behind the controller. There's a C1 and a C2 button. And these two button customizations, you can change them. You can see if I click on that, there are various options you can use for each of those. The remote controller battery is 95%. Everything else is normal. As I said earlier, this is where you can format the SD card. So we click off that. If you click on the DJI black area on the top left, that takes you back to the Go Fly button. So we go back to Go Fly. And now we're back into the app. When you're looking at this, if we click on the, the three dots top right here, this brings up all of the general settings. Now the general settings, you see we're on the bottom three dots. These give you measurements that you want to work in, either metric or imperial. You can clear the video cache here. I'll clear that for a second and delete it. Wasn't any in there. So this gives you some information about the general settings. If we click on the top button, which is the craft, this helps you to set up the home point. Also, you can be in sports mode, positioning mode or tripod mode, because we're on the Mavic 2 here. The return home altitude is set at 40 meters. That is all of the area around us. So we're looking at what is around us and setting a height above all of that in case we have to press the return to home button. You can go into the beginner mode, which restricts the speed that you can fly and also restricts the distance you can fly from the home point down to 30 meters. Again, it's repeated in this area, the maximum flight altitude, it's doubled up. You will see this in, in, on a number of menus. The information appears in two places. We set the maximum flight distance at 300 and then we've got an advanced setting button over here, which is where you can set the sensitivity, the gain, and then if you want to go into the sensors here, press there. This is where you find your IMU and compass. So let's go back out of the advanced settings. And then we can click down on the next one, which is your obstacle avoidance section. And you can switch the obstacle avoidance off here if we just disable it. OK. And put it back on. You can display the radar chart here. This is the distance of up to six meters, how far things are away. So you can see it here. So one meter in front, 2.5 meters behind. Go back to the sensors where we were. And this is the actual controller next down. Again, this is where you can customize those buttons which we looked at earlier. And on the Mavic 2, there is another button which is on the controller, which gives us four more different shortcuts that we can use. This is your signal strength and the transmission settings. Here's your details about your battery. I've got the critical battery war low warning set at 10% here and the low battery warning set at 20%. And the final item is the camera here where you can change the camera settings and the gimbal settings and how smooth your picture of the gimbal is and then back down to the bottom, which is the general setting. So if I click on the top right, which takes that out away, the shortcut to go to these is if I click on the battery now on the top black area, so I click on that there, that takes us directly to the battery. If I click on the sensors, it takes us direct to the sensors. So these are the shortcuts. If I press on the position and the craft area, it takes us to the craft. Those are the shortcuts through to the other menus which are behind here.